What's going on? Why is it getting... Lend me your strength! Later, of you. In lunar flame. These are all... charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now, then. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... The remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one-strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. Precisely, it's right below. Exactly what it means. Down. You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next. We want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it.
solitary chain. Go say hello to it. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft landing. Okay, here we go. We landed safely. This is amazing. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Lend me your strength. Trust me. Blade of you. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Nothing major. <laughs> to guard and defend. Crush them. In lunar flame. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Receive divinity. Repay. The dead return. Blade of you. Didn't hurt. <laughs> Stand still. disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Are you ready? <laughs> Don't be too surprised. Is that... Firefly? Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her, the slight trembling of the ground, the fleeting reflections on the screen, the flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now, recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? 
She mentioned that this transaction involves the watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say... Is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. There. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Sleep is the dead. Return! 
You chose the wrong enemy. Bloom. Thanks. You're too good. Receive to me. divinity. Thanks. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Cut in the net. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength! Say bye to breathing. What a headache. Stand still. I'll see you off. Lend me your strength. Don't mess with me. Who's next? Operations. You chose the wrong enemy. Enter the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Bloom. Your assistance is timely. Receive divinity. Repay. Eternal sleep. The dead return. to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that 
Galaxy Ranger. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a Galaxy Ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. But, oh, there's no but. This is the truth. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno, Fatora's Ifrit? Done. As expected. I'll cut to the chase, then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking, or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So... My friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again.
My, my. You look like a small, injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him, but this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone, recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather. I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual, not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. But always be on guard, particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles and water disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Menacone. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. <laughs>